everyone and welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see why is it that you keep seeing certain numbers, certain synchronicities, um, why is it that you keep, um, I guess, having the same name or the same number uh, keep popping up again and again and again. So what is it that the universe may be trying to communicate? What messages are trying to reach you? And why is it, is, why is it that there's so much repetition around a name, um, a symbol, a pattern, um, a song perhaps. Okay, we'll see what messages are trying to reach you and we'll see what the universe is trying to communicate with you. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show notes section. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. King of Cups, but he's up in reverse. The Page of Swords here. Okay. Wow. Okay. I feel like there is a connecting energy around you. There is someone very special that you're connected to. Um, now, this person may not be in your life right now here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. Exactly. All right. So this person may not be in your life right now. Okay. So um, it feels like this is a connecting romantic energy here, but it could be a friendship as well. It could be a friend. Um, it feels like there's some sort of separation or disconnection between the two of you here. So you may have gone through a breakup. You may be going through a separation. Um, maybe this is someone who ghosted you, someone who just, you know, pulled away. Could could be that this person pulled away physically. Could be that this person has pulled away emotionally here. But there's some sort of distance, be it space, physical, or be it emotional here. Um, and just because you guys are separated by time, space, or distance, I feel like emotionally or energetically, the two of you are still connected. Now, I feel like a lot of the, um, like you keep, for some of you, you might be keep seeing their name everywhere. And I do mean everywhere. You might hear their name being constantly mentioned. You might hear, you know, in songs, films, in conversations that you might eavesdrop in and overhear, um, there may also be certain things that this person um, liked to say, okay, certain um, quotes or, you know, a certain way of pronouncing things. So there are definitely a lot of synchronicities that are coming up around this person. I feel like the universe is trying to let you know that the two of you share almost like a psychic connection. So it feels like when you find yourself thinking about this person, it feels like this is someone who may just be thinking about you too at that particular point in time as well. It could also mean that maybe this person was, you know, uh, thinking of you first here. There are very intense feelings and emotions involved. And this is why I feel like for some of you, maybe this is... For some of you, I do feel like you share a psychic connection. For others of you, I feel like what the two of you have shared in the past is maybe um, like an emotional, you might have had an emotional love affair that sadly might have never really manifested in the physical realm here. But the two of you, I feel like are still very much connected emotionally. So there's a thread that connects the two of you together here. So when you find yourself thinking about this person, it's likely that this person may have thought of you first or maybe thinking about you at that particular point in time here. Because it feels like these intensive, these really intense feelings that the two of you share towards one another produce these waves, these signals, these vibrations, which travel, you know, to, uh, which travel out to that person here. There's this attachment that the two of you share. There's this thread that connects the two of you together here. Um, it feels like someone him can't get you out of their head, okay? Just as you can't get them out of your head here. It feels like this is someone whom you've had 
Um, you've built such an emotional closeness with this person, such an emotional bond. It could be that this is a past um, life connection. It could be that the two of you have shared um, very strong feelings for one another and you have loved each other in a past lifetime here. But maybe you guys still have unfinished business here and maybe you guys still have, you know, feelings that feelings for each other that were never fully explored in the previous lifetime. This is why the universe is giving you a second chance here to reconnect here okay and come back together because you might have a soul contract with this person um, so I feel like you know whatever it is that didn't work out between you and this individual here it feels like the universe here might be wanting to bring this person back into your life and so all of the synchronicities that you're picking up around this person are sort of messages and signals from the universe to let you know that this person is you know nearing ready like becoming ready to enter your life or you are becoming ready for this person to enter your life here so there's this uh i feel like there's this message that it's you're getting closer you're getting closer to a possible reconnection with this person to a possible uh, reconciliation with this person you're getting closer to the time when your paths are going to cross again um you know you're getting you're becoming a lot more vibrationally aligned and in sync with one another here now, for some of you, there could be specific messages here that keep coming up around this individual. And if you keep getting the same message or the same synchronicity again and again, then I feel like it just may be that the universe is trying to communicate something with you, but you might not be necessarily receiving that specific message here. Okay, so this is why the, and the universe is very um, determined and very... Um, uh, persistent here so this is why i'll keep sending you like this person's name you'll keep hearing this person's name or you know you'll keep seeing something that reminds you of this person but you'll keep seeing it again and again because there's some sort of message the universe is always communicating with us it does have some very intimate and personal conversations you know with us so that's why that message can really only be interpreted by you okay and if you are not you know, getting that message, if you're not getting the um, contents of that message, that's why that repetition will come again and again and again here. So notice how some of these synchronicities leave you like with a rush of emotions, how it might just flood memories back of this specific person or, you know, the specific relationship or the connection that you had with this person. And notice how sometimes you might experience some very strange uh, meetings or interactions that might happen with... Um, you know, maybe even random strangers here, but it leaves you with um, a sense or a purpose of recognition here. Now, there may also be synchronicities that are created by your higher self. So subconsciously, you may have buried some emotions here for this person, okay? Whether they're um, lingering emotions of love, pain, hurt, or resentment here. There may be memories that you've buried subconsciously within you. So some of these synchronicities can be a reflection of what's going on within your higher self, you know, subconsciously here. And that's important for you to know as well. So you can bring that back up to the surface and, you know, deal with maybe any unresolved feelings of hurt or pain or whatever they may be for you here. But I feel like there's definitely... You know, to every synchronicity that you're experiencing, there's definitely a divine purpose and a divine order here in the chaos that is unfolding here. Um, everything is energy, right? We're all energy. Everything is energy at all levels here and everything is in sync. And this is why I feel like when you get certain memories that come rushing back to you or when you get certain emotions around a person or around a situation here, I feel like you'll become... The more you, the more synchronicities that you're receiving, I feel like the more that this is a reflection that you are feeling less resistant in your energies and in your experience and in life. And therefore, by you know offering up less resistance here, you're opening yourself up to the possibilities of pos a possible reconnection or a possible reconciliation or you know whatever plans or intentions that the universe has in store for you. So the more that you're open and receptive to these messages, to these synchronicities here, the more that everything around you here is becoming in constant motion and constant fluidity here. Okay, so, you know, random meetings, random synchronicities here, um, 
even any strange occurrences or happenings with strangers here, everything happens for a reason here. And it's important to, I guess, kind of analyze the interaction that we get from the universe, which comes in different forms, you know, people, songs, um, symbols, synchronicities here. For some of you, because there's such a strong past life indication that I'm picking up here, it could be that there is a past or even like a parallel life that is sort of connecting to your higher self. And your higher self is um, very open and aware and therefore is recognizing that. So, you know, when sometimes you meet someone who feels oddly familiar, even though, you know, they're a complete stranger, it's because that you've connected with this person in a past life here. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to translate to, you know, um, an intimate or like a, a physical relationship, but it could be a connection that uh, goes even beyond that. And I feel like for some of you subconsciously, okay, on a higher level, some of you are definitely beginning to recognize a lot of these synchronicities. Whilst those of you that keep getting specifically the same synchronicity again and again around a specific person, around a specific subject, around a specific, um, you know, past, past energy, past person or past situation, I feel like it's because you may still be displaying, unfortunately, a level of resistance that's really preventing you from interpreting and analyzing that specific message here. But essentially, I feel like the reason why these messages, um, you know, are making their way to you, the reason why you keep having these dreams, these synchronicities or hearing this person's name again and again um all you know just reliving these memories here i feel like the reason why is because the both of you like your souls have synchronized here and your souls are synchronizing here and it's like you're reconnecting with this person maybe not in the physical not on a physical level not in the physical world but um definitely on you know a spiritual or an emotional plane here okay and it's it first it's it's happening you know on that emotional or spiritual level and um for a lot of you i also feel like it will then manifest in that physical um in that metaphysical realm here as well so it's almost like you know it's preparing your soul or your energy for that manif that manifestation of a reconnection or of a reunion of a reconciliation with the person here but it's allowing for you to you know enter those feelings and those emotions ex experience that first here those you know intuitive associations or those emotions or feelings that you get around you know the possibility of reconciliation with this person here so and once you reach that, and this is why I feel like a lot of you are reaching that, you know, that level of synchronicity, that level of alignment here. And once, you, you know, you've reached that level, I feel like this is when that reconciliation or reconnection with that person will finally manifest here. All right, guys, and these are your messages. So I want to thank you all for your time, your attention. It is greatly appreciated. For those of you interested in a personalized reading, just reminding you that my email address is listed below. Thank you guys again. Bye for now.